What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of La Liga Carimo. This is episode number 60 and today we are returning with our first cup final of the save as we face Atletico Madrid in the Copa del Rey final. Three straight seasons of embarrassment in this competition but this year we managed to stave off Real Madrid and make it through to the final against their local rivals Atletico. So first shot of silverware of the save just two wins in our last four games. It's been a it's been a really tough run of form. We snuck past Getafe. We held on against Batiste, but after losses to Athletic Bilbao and Almeria, a draw against Barca, uh, losing to Juve over two legs in the Champions League, losing to Real Madrid in the second leg of our Copa del Rey semi, despite making it for after the first leg victory. It's not been a great run of form. Although I did want to show you this real briefly. When you look at the results here, um, in a recent episode I talked about. Goal Goals in FIFA and how they're just too goal glutty, if you will. And when you look at the results coming from midway through January after our 4-3 loss to Real on penalties in the Super Cup, 7-5, 3-3, 4-3, 4-2, 3-1, 3-1, 4-0, 2-2, 3-2, 3-2, 3-1, 4-2-3-0-3-3. You have to go all the way <laughs> to Barcelona at the end of March before you see a game that had less than three goals in it. And then we were back to normal service with the losses to Almeria and Bilbao. So I just want to show you that real briefly. I'm not exaggerating when I talk about it. There are just so many games in the season which are just, there's just too many goals. Like there's just far too many goals. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I use that chocolate bar analogy. I think it's the best way of putting it really. Um, that so too much of a good thing can actually be a bad thing. Um, even so in La Liga on the back of the back to back wins to respond after to losses to Almeria and Batista, we have now gone seven points clear, so destiny is in our own hands to win La Liga, and it does mean we should be able to wrap it up if we win two of our final five games. So, heading into the Copa del Rey final, I do have that in the back of my mind, but it doesn't take away from what I really want, which is one piece of silverware minimum. We have a chance to do it today. So, I'm going to go to changes. Centenas will start ahead of Carlos Neva in the left back row. I think it will start Matthew ahead of Sugawara as well. I prefer these guys as more defense based fullbacks compared to Neva and uh, also Sugawara as well. Um, but I'm fine with the midfield. Randy and Teca is our second highest scorer in the Copa del Rey, though, behind Antonio Villar. So, I think I I'll start him, but keep Suarez on the bench. Other than that, I'm okay with the team. Darwin's not the fittest. I like Pacheco off the bench, but I think I will keep Darwin on there. And, yep, I'm okay with it. So, let's dive into it. Then, Copa del Rey final against the Flenica Madrid. You'll see their team there. It's tired. It's really tired. We did rotate quite a few of our players in the victory against Real Batiste. Atletico, though, are gassed. So, because of that, we've got fresher legs. We've got more energy. We've got back-to-back -back wins on our side. And now a chance at our first ever piece of silverware. Please don't bottle this. Come on, Granada. Well, no doubt about it, we have struggled mightily in the cup since the save began. <laughs> I think that's an understatement. And it is ironic, because I talked about it in my last career mode. I was the cup king! We got to Wembley every year in a save, but in this one in Spain, as Mia's shot is deflected and cleared, I just, I've struggled every single year, so to be here is an achievement in its own merit. The board said get to the quarterfinal, but there's no doubt about it, if we come up short here, I'm calling it a failure. Yes, absolutely. We've got to win at least one trophy this season. You've seen throughout the past few episodes the performance review meetings getting scheduled. I've got to win this. The pressure is on as that cross is cleared and we should get it away. But I think this is going to be a very nervy game though. I really do. There's so much at stake for both teams. Fletco's only chance of silverware this season. Great dribbling by VR and fed through to Williams. And for us, the pressure on me to keep my job. In goes the cross headed away. And a Fleck of Madrid. Get it half dealt with his VR. Oh! Have another go. Oh, brilliant save by Jan Black. 
I thought the idea scored the goal of the save off the woodwork and then Jan Oblak denying it from range for a second time as attack he heads over. Better start from Granada, woodwork rattled, flying save from Jan but still 0-0. Villada wins the header from the goal kick as well. This dude. Oh, Nico, can he get behind Gretzka? Oh, sorry, man. I'll be honest, I wasn't even trying to shoot. <laughs> I was just trying to hustle Leon Goretzka at left back. Williams trying a snapshot in the end side netting. And VR wins the header again. He's not a tall lad, VR, but he's throwing himself about in the early stages. And rolls it out wide to Diata. And we've got a Fletica Madrid on the ropes here. It's Randy and Teco! How has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? VR blocked! Williams all black with the save! How? How have we not scored? Goodness gracious! Twice the woodwork's rattled, twice all black's made a great save, and Atletico Madrid have somehow kept that ball from crossing the line. Goodness gracious me! In what world is this still 0-0? Ludicrous. Can I have my gold gluts back, please, FIFA? Me are denied. This is ridiculous. Surely. Surely we're going to break that deadlock. Oh, as Old Black claims that corner. Any second now, as his throw is intercepted by Luis Mia. Surely. Can I find Williams? I can! Yes, he's on! It's a goal, it counts, and Nico Williams puts Granada in front. And Atletico Madrid weathering that storm, but no more as we blow the roof off and take the deserved lead at the Bernabeu. Old Black finally beaten after three great saves, and Granada have the lead. It's a brilliant ball through by Inteka. It's perfectly timed. Williams using that electrifying acceleration Beats Jan or Black to the ball. It's a goal. He's onside. He doesn't make contact with Old Black. The ball did not reach his gloves. And the former Bilbao man finally gives us the lead. An onslaught of attacks. And finally we have the breakthrough. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Fletico looks shell-shocked. And no doubt about it. That was my game plan heading into the game. Put them under pressure early. Put them under pressure. We've won back to back. We're top of the league. We're the most feared team in Spain in terms of this season. And if they've got a tired team, we've got a fresh one right from the get-go. Run at those legs. Play those through balls. Test Jan or Black early. We've done that. And we've got our reward for it as well. But this is a Fletico Madrid. This is a great side. And there is no way Diego Simeone is going to just lay down and accept this. But at the moment, we've got the pace. And because of the pace we've got on the flanks, combined with Fletico's tight legs, we're going to be in a lot of times here. It's VR. It's Williams. It's two. Quick counter-attack from Granada. And two in seven minutes for Nico Williams. Gives Granada a cushion inside the first half an hour. Exactly what you've got to do. Put the pressure on early. Assert your dominance in a cup final, and we've done that. Tune it up, VR with the assist, Williams with a brace, and right now we've got a Fletico Madrid absolutely rocking and on the ropes. Keep this up for the final 15 minutes, and we could be freeing it up in a home and dry at half time. Jao Felix shut down by Ateki, but the Portuguese four keeps holding it, and now Grimaldo in an unfamiliar holding mid roll. There's a couple of ones who was a Marco, uh, Marcos Urenta. Now his feet is again tackled by Duarte, and we shall get the danger, well, let's just say under control here with Maximiano. And whoa! <laughs> Goalkeeper distribution is so wild in this FIFA, isn't it? As he puts it out for a throw. Brilliant first half, though. We've been absolutely in control, and really. Could be three or four in up here, but I've gifted a Fleck and given a chance to get back in the game, which they almost took. Louis bailing us out and redeeming himself. Felix denied the near post, and like I mentioned before our second goal, this is a Fletico Madrid and Diego Simeone's team. Don't think. Oh, scramble that we're just going to walk to an easy trophy. No way. A Fleck and Madrid still got lots to offer in this game. But we've got loads of pace. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes. 
brilliant from Nico Williams. A new Lombardi. He's a, a new gen centre half, an Italian. And as you know, the, the, the new gens have so much pace at times. He's got the pace to catch up with Williams, despite Nico's rapid, energetic pace. Cuts inside, rolls it across, and crep in. Well, I'll be honest, your old Blacks made a couple of great saves early, but that one actually surprised me. I thought he was going to stop it, but Diata finds back in there. That's poor goalkeeper from Rob Black, really, isn't it? We'll take it, though. 3 0 Granada, and forget what I just said. Atletico wasted their one good chance. We took ours on the other end. Put the engraving on the trophy, guys. It's, it's done. And it's been a Nico Williams show in this first half. He's absolutely ran things. In, uh, in Atletico Madrid's final third. They do have the quality coming forward, and right on cue they've showed it. Jao Felix says, don't put that G on just yet, because we're still in this. It's Jao Felix with a goal, former Benfica forward with the, well, let's just say lifeline for Atletico. And, you know, defensively, we're, we're carving them open every time we come forward due to the electrifying pace we've got in their tired legs. But you can't forget that. They've got a good attack, whilst they're mostly known for their defense. Jao Felix Prime, Yuri Tiedemann's Prime, Marcos Llorente Prime. Yet there's still going to be plenty of time and plenty of chance for him to get back in this. Thrilling first half. And what was I saying about goal gluts? Yeah, four goals in 40 minutes. Unbelievable. So second half gets underway. Jao Felix giving a Fletcher Madrid a lifeline right before half time to get back in this game. We were leading by three. They've now cut it to two. And again, they've got they've got prime Tielemans. They've got prime uh, Moreno. They've got prime Goretzka, albeit playing left back. Um, you know, prime Jao Felix now, of course, 90 rated. This is a this is a very good Atletico Madrid team. So there's no doubt about it. I'm even at three one up, still wary of that fact. But the the one thing which is really playing into our favour is that when Atletico throw those blue shirts forward, ah, poor pass. We've got pace. We've got fresh legs, they're tired, and it means we can constantly run at them. And that's going to exacerbate for Atletico Madrid the later the game goes on, because they'll get even more tired. So the longer this game goes on, if we still have a two-goal cushion, there'll be even more chances on the break. It's all about now managing the situation. Just don't allow Atletico Madrid back in it between now and the 70-minute mark. Which I've just done. Wow. Yuri Tielemans, the Belgian, smacks it past Maximiano. And Atletico Madrid have come back from 3-0 down to cut it to 1. Okay. Well, we know they've got the quality. The real question is, do they have the energy to play like this for the rest of the game? We've got the fresher legs. We've got the energy. Surely Atletico Madrid are not going to come back from 3-0 down. Surely not. Mia, attacking, and out wide is Crepin the Atlas, and Tellez on the overlap here, and Randy's in the middle, and he'll go up for the header, yes! Brilliant ball from Centelles, and our standings combine for our fourth, Alex in for Carlos, Randy in for Luis, and Granada make it four, and that will do it. Lovely overlapping run from Centelles. First time ball is brilliant, and Teca, that's what he can do that Suarez can't. Leaps like a salmon, uses the brute strength to beat Lombardi first to the ball, and heads it past Jan Black for our fourth. Take a breather, we've restored the two goal cushion, and that reaction says it all. 18 minutes to go, that man's coming off. Surely, surely we won't bottle this. So Fletco now going to start operating that high press that we always see <laughs> when a team's in desperation mode. But I think, I think we should be okay here as Isaki flicks on to VR, who now flows to Venfador off the bench. This is a chance here to make it five. He's got Darwin to the left. Can he pick him out with a through ball? He can indeed. This to wrap the Copper Del Rey up, and he's hit the post, and it's cleared temporarily and now fully away my goodness we have hit the woodwork three times today but we still scored four goals FIFA 22 is the most open FIFA I've ever played in my entire life it's ludicrous and here come a Fleco again and it's a brilliant save by Maximiano fantastic stop on the one-on-one -on -one. 
But Atletico Madrid keep the chance alive. It's not over yet, you know. We've got a two-goal lead, but if they get another goal, that will make things very interesting. But now as we come on the break, this can wrap it up. VR to Williams, and this should do it. It's Nico Williams, and I've just ran into Jan Oblak trying to do a cutback. God, I wanted to get a VR go. I'm not even going to try and downplay it. I was going to be sweating. I wanted to see VR notch up in a cup final. The captain, he's actually not been as involved today. He's got one assist in the four, but for our main source of goals, both for scoring and assisting, I would have hoped I could get him a goal or at least a couple of assists. But as Darwin outpaces Vitinho, he's absolutely gassed. This could do it. This is what I want to see. Yeah, no! <laughs> no! No, we won't mind. What a game. Six goals at the Bernabeu. The Granada run out winners. We had to win a trophy this year. Silverware or bust. One down, one to go. Get in. I really hope I can grab that last highlight and watch it again. It's like, it's the final kick of the game. And Jan Oblak, who's had so many shots on his goal, has the energy from four yards out to fly <laughs> through the air and make the save on the 101. I love it, though. Nothing given, everything earned, even when the game's already done. That's why I love this FIFA. It's the most challenging I've ever played. Fantastic. But without question, worthy winners. Atletico Madrid had some great chances and took two of them. Maximiano made a couple of good saves in the game as well, but definitely deserved this one. All Black had a workout and then some in this game. We had the woodwork three times, but also found the back of the net four times. That's told the full story. Atletico had their chances. We had a hell of a lot more and came out deserved winners, no doubt about it. Uh, man of the match, definitely Nico Williams, though. He absolutely ran the show in the first half in this game. He was brilliant. I thought Randy and Tekel was great as well, getting one assist and also heading in what was the dagger in the end for the game. Uh, but Nico's still my man of the match in this one for the two goals and the assist he got for our first three in the first half. Ran the show, quite literally. Please, is that Jan or Black highlight there? Because that was absolutely hilarious it's not no he just flew through the air it was brilliant but there we go one down one to go for granada we have suffered embarrassment in three straight seasons in the copa del rey but at first if you don't succeed try try again we get it right the fourth time of asking knock out real in the semis courtesy of that fabulous first leg 4-0 victory and then getting ourselves the trophy by beating Atletico in a six goal thriller in the final so there we go it's a big day for granada absolutely superb victory really great game but once again as i talked about at the start of the episode like there there are just too many goals in fifa aren't there i mean really let's be honest here like it's just too too action-packed too open that was a ridiculous game for openness you know but even so in the end most important thing is the silverware is in the cabinet and it doesn't relieve my uh, manager rating thus far I've given Granada a major domestic honour. We finally got one after four straight years. But look at this. We win the trophy, and yet we still have another performance review meeting scheduled. My position at the club's currently under close observation due to recent results. 
I mean, we just won back to back in La Liga to go seven points clear with five games to go, and I've won the Copa del Rey as well. This is shades of my realistic career mode with Chelsea in season one, when we were going for a domestic double, yet the board still weren't satisfied. We've won the Copa del Rey with two wins away from La Liga. Yet the board still don't care. It's so frustrating. But that will end today's episode of La Liga Carimo, guys. Big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please do drop a like. Uh, much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you for the next episode of La Liga Carimo. Two episodes to go in the season as we chase the title. Five games remaining in La Liga. We start with Osasuna away. Should be a banker or so you'd think. And as you can see, seven point gap. Right now we know win two of our final seven, we will be crowned champions. These are our final fixtures, by the way, all coming in May for those that are curious. Surely, surely we should be able to, uh, sorry, three wins we need. Surely we should be able to win three of these five games here. Beat Real Madrid, of course, and it's over. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Have a fantastic day. Much love to you all. And I will see you for the penultimate episode of season four of La Liga Career Mode. We have one trophy down. We chase the domestic double. And we have a chance to win our first La Liga title in the very next episode. Have a great day. Much love. And I'll see you for the episode of season four very soon.